Hello Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general monthly reading for the month of August of 2022. I hope this reading, this message, this video finds you well. Yeah, Leo? Uh, this is going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is not going to necessarily resonate for everyone. Um, also, this is a timeless reading, Leo. Just because this is dated for the month of August, it doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you'll find the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I'll be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up, yeah? But also, if you guys would prefer to just stick here with the channel then I definitely recommend that you smash that like button leave me a comment especially also maybe even subscribe as that helps me to connect with your energy for future sessions yeah all right Leo I'm going to give this one more shuffle and then we'll get into your energy but uh, right now for you Leo I'm seeing a heavy level of pink unconditionally loving energy I feel like this is mostly love for the self um, that's coming through with this pink energy, yeah? Uh, that's all I'm getting so far. I, um, I am also seeing yellow. Um, so there is a level of love here. You may be looking for love at this time. You may be really open to love at this time. There was a similar energy for cancer. Uh, and then at the bottom of the deck here, you do have the seven of pentacles so far. So I feel like this is kind of speaking to a level of understanding you may have come to and have decided whether or not you are going to move forward or whether or not you're going to seek something. I get this feeling from the Seven of Pentacles, Leo, that you're kind of like, well, it is what it is um, in terms of some sort of past energies. But currently, right now, what I heard for you was I'm at least going to have to try, you know. there. I mean, you've had certain experiences in your life that you've definitely learned from Seven of Pentacles. And these experiences may have had an effect of holding you back in life in some way. But at this point, with this Seven of Pentacles here so far, and the pink energy, which is then leading to the yellow energy, the pink being unconditional love, especially love for the self, but then also the yellow energy being some sort of action, action-oriented, action-driven, um, I feel like you come to terms with certain experiences and or circumstances in your life, and at this point, you're saying to yourself, well, if I want something, I'm gonna have to get my, I'm gonna have to get back out there, okay? I'm look, I'm seeing that SpongeBob meme where like he's sitting on the chair and then he kind of like almost begrudgingly gets himself and like, oh, okay, here we go. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, might as well do it. But I don't feel like there. I don't feel like you're really being forced into this. I feel like this is actively a choice you are making to move forward somehow. And the strongest thing, the dominant thought behind this action is like you've learned from the past and you recognize what it is you're going to need to do in the future or how you can do it in the future. But also the Seven of Pentacles at its baseline is giving me an energy of, well, if I want something, if I want to have a harvest to... If I want to have something to harvest or something to collect, I'm going to have to go out there and start planting some seeds in order for it to grow, for it to be harvestable to, harvestable to begin with. So what this is saying to me, Leo, is it kind of feels like you may have been in a moment of or a time period of extreme seclusion. I'm hearing very, maybe a very much a strong hermit mode. Um, I am hearing that it is healthy or was healthy, at least to a certain extent. Um, because as I was talking through that, my part of me was kind of questioning whether that was a good thing or not. It seems to have been a good thing, Leo, because you really have healed and come to terms with a lot of things before you were, uh, well, before you could be in this position right now of wanting to or desiring to take to action, plant some new seeds or something like that, okay? This is beautiful. Let's move forward, Leo. What's going on for my Leos? Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node for the month of August and beyond, please, Spirit. August 2022 and beyond. First card you have here, Leo, <laughs> is the world. Beautiful. Ending of a cycle, ending of certain circumstances. Ooh, look at that. Okay. You have the world to the devil, which is interesting because the devil did come out right when I started 
cultivating the energy for your reading. Um, you know, I was in between, I just did Cancer's reading, now I'm doing yours, but in between I was taking a moment to just shuffle the cards a little bit and, and connect with your energy and the devil did come out, all right? Um, but with the devil here now, you do have the Page of Swords. And what I wanna say for that, Leo, is that you learned, uh, you had some sort of toxic experiences in the, pla in the past that you've definitely learned from. Okay, I'm see I'm hearing also for some of you you're seeking higher wisdom, you're seeking higher understanding. Some of you may actually be re-entering into certain situations or circumstances whether this be a romantic relationship or just some other type of circumstance for yourself. You may be either reassessing the situation Maybe emotionally, or maybe even re-entering the situation to learn more about it. But if you are if you are re-entering a situation, readdressing a situation, it's not to keep it going in the same way that it has been. It's either to close out the cycle altogether or to change something, change it out of some sort of toxic energy. Last card you have here, bam, is the magician. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing seeking something new. I'm also hearing seeking clarity, but that's coming from the Seven of Cups that's now at the bottom of the deck for you. Really, the Seven of Cups feels like it represents potentials, opportunities, things that you dream of. At this point, now that you seem to have seem to have overcome or now actually have the ability to overcome something from the past, and I'm hearing in terms of if you haven't overcome it yet, you have that opportunity to overcome it in the near future. Um, because of that, now that's kind of leaving the door open or the possibilities open for something new to arise. And that's really what the Seven of Cups, I feel like is representing for you right now, Leo, the possibilities, okay? Beautiful. Let's talk about this talk. Why the devil for Leo, please, Spirit? That's the devil for Leo. First card you have here is the tower. Excellent. Yeah, that's great. Long-standing relationship or circumstance or situationship, I'm hearing. Massive change, uh, maybe even sudden change. Very powerful change. Next card you have here is the five of wands in reverse. So what has helped you change this situation, Leo, ultimately is a level of internal conflict having been resolved, finding a resolution there. Um, but that was just the preliminary. That was either what, what I feel like this five of wands in reverse represents here for you is overcoming some sort of internal conflict or working something out for yourself that is then allowing you or has allowed you to approach or address the situation in the physical external in your external circumstances which is creating drastic change for you the, the tower here something really i just heard a long-standing relationship or situationship is changing it might be ending that's possible or it's changing for the better better five of card five, final card you have here is the knight of cups excellent and then the over and then the overall energy here is the high priestess the high priestess is definitely representing some sort of initiation for you um, it could also be higher awareness, higher wisdom that has allowed you to see past or see through the effects of the devil, whatever this has been for you. Now, getting over this devil energy, some sort of toxic energy, it could be toxic relationships or toxic cycles within relationships. That coming down is helping to open your heart, Knight of Cups, or at least overcoming whatever this toxic or devilish situation has been for you is allowing you to have space for your heart to open up and for you to then take action from that heart space. This Knight of Cups energy is definitely representing the pink energy I was seeing for you in the beginning of this reading. And with that, I'm hearing being willing to move forward in a very emotionally solid and stable way. Um, yes, open to love, open to being vulnerable, but this sense of vulnerability is definitely a strength, Leo, because you're entering into it in a much wiser and much more powerful way. I really feel like this devil energy, this toxic energy, the codependency, the addictions, whatever, the low vibe stuff, doesn't have the same effect on you now as it did before because of the fact that you overcame some sort of internal conflict about it which again has allowed you to take action steps or to approach the situation in the physical to release it fully so let's talk about then what you learned here with this page of swords clarify the page of swords for leo please 
What has Leo learned here? Clarify the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords could also represent seeking new opportunities to in which for you to manifest something new. You're going from the Page of Swords to the to the Magician. But the first card out here is the Six of Wands. That's beautiful. Clarify the Page of Swords, please. Really the feeling that I'm getting from this energy uh, so far with the Six of Wands clarifying this Page of Swords, Leo, is, excuse me, excuse me, um, is a level of you feeling somewhat invincible. And I don't get that in a negative, in a negative way. I don't feel like you're going out there willy nilly being all like um, irresponsible or anything, but there is a level you, you overcoming whatever it is you overcome here or whatever it is you have learned here, whatever inner struggle you have circumvented it's leaving you feeling somewhat in, in, invincible as if you can if you overcame that imagine all the other things you could overcome and that's a really beautiful place to be i definitely want you want to encourage you to continue to hold that belief but also don't take it so far as to think you know you're not susceptible to getting hurt at all or you know what i mean um, but this is a good place to be. There's very strong, confident energy. With that, you have the Knight of Wands. There's that enthusiasm to move forward. Strong levels of belief in yourself is what I'm also picking up on here, Leo. Last two cards here, you have the Hierophant with the Four of Swords. Okay, and then the overall energy is the Nine of Swords. That's interesting because the Nine of Swords did kind of flash right before I started pulling this energy to clarify the Page of Swords. There may have been some, and, and it's interesting, this came out, this came out for cancer also. There may have been some sort of institutionalized energies or belief systems that were in your vicinity that were kind of deceiving you or maybe holding you back. Um, and it feels like, it, this feels slightly different for you. You, there may be some of this energies that you, these energies that you're holding on to, represented by the Hierophant here. But I'm feeling that in terms of belief systems, status quo, uh, uh, social, societal standings, whatnot, whatever, I don't feel like you've completely let go of all of this. Um, unlike cancer, I feel like cancer completely like eradicated these this belief system that may have been holding them back. You and your energy, Leo, feels slightly different. It feels like you're almost with this four of swords here. It's like you're pushing that to the side, not to say that it, that it may not or still doesn't have somewhat of an effect on your life or maybe doesn't sort of maybe it does still create some sort of restrictions in your life, Leo, but it doesn't feel like you're really giving too much time, attention, or energy to that belief system. You're holding it at bay. It's like what I'm getting with the Four of Swords and the Hierophant here is like you're saying, okay, I see that reality for you. And I understand that that technically, I guess, is part of my reality too because we're cohabiting, I don't know, space in the universe, if you will, or space on this planet in this lifetime, if you will. But that doesn't necessarily mean it absolutely has to affect me in that way. Okay, so just uh, like it's similar to cancer, like I said, um, but for you, Leo, it feels slightly different. Instead of completely eradicating it, you're just saying like, all right, I recognize that, but I'm going to push that to the side here because that's not really, <laughs> that's not all that relevant to me. Whereas in the past, it may have been something, some sort of something fearful. Nine of Swords is your overall energy. But what I'm getting with the Nine of Swords for you, Leo, is fear mongering. I feel like you recognize how some of these social norms or whatnot, whatever, the institutionalized energies and belief systems represented by the Hierophant, I feel like you started to recognize what you learned here was that there was a hell of a lot of fear mongering going on. And while you still recognize it as part of reality, maybe even your life, in some ways or so to speak, it doesn't feel like you're allowing it to have that much of a fearful or fear mongering type of effect on you because it's like you see past it at this point. All right, let's clarify that. I want to clarify the world next. So what's the world for Leo? Please spirit, sun, moon, rising and north node. What's the world for me for Leo? First card you have is the eight of swords. Again, very similar to cancer. I think even the Eight of Swords came out clarifying the world for Cancer because the world came out for Cancer. You may be a Cancer Leo Cusper, may have some similar placement. Leo or a Cancer. You might want to watch the Cancer reading. Look at that. Damn, look at that. The tennis. This is so similar to Cancer's energy. I mean, like, the you seem close out for yourself was one of extreme or heavy restriction. Okay. Eight of Swords to the. Uh oh. 
why did that happen? Oh, I hope everything's okay with this video here. Uh, I just got to keep going with it now. Eight of Swords to the Eight of Cups is clarifying the world for you, okay? So this really does feel like it was some sort of extreme sense of restriction. But ultimately, you're, released, you're coming out of that. Yeah, see? Okay, look, you're coming out of that and moving towards what it is you truly would make you happy. From that there, we're back to the Seven of Pentacles. There's that Seven of Pentacles again. So it literally is you breaking out of some sort of restriction. This could very well be a belief system that held you back. And instead of doing that, you're, you've released yourself from this mental prison. You're closing out or have closed out this whole cycle surrounding this situation. And now... You're moving forward towards your Ten of Cups, your complete happiness, your emotional uh, wish fulfillment. Um, but it feels like, I don't feel like this has actually happened for you yet. Obviously, you do have this magician energy here in which you are actively taking steps to manifest this. But this is what you have your sights set on, your personal Ten of Cups. Very liberating energy. This is beautiful. Okay, so clarify the night, I'm sorry, the clarify the... Um, the magician the seven of swords so far um i mean there's a, there could be a level of fear involved with your manifestation process right now i would not recommend that you really pay too much attention to the fear that nine of swords the nine of swords could also represent just the atmosphere of the mental atmosphere or the potential for mentally you to be like i don't know how this is going to happen what's going on is this going to work this that and the third blah 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 whatnot whatever but the encouragement was in the knight of pentacles and the seven of cups again and i'm getting very i'm very, very much getting star the star energy here all right the unknown like faith and following faithfully and not knowing how you're going to get there or how it's even going to happen but be having faith that you're going to reach that 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 destination okay that's what I'm, I'm seeing with that nine of swords knight of pentacles and the seven of cups just move forward keep moving forward diligently do not allow the fear to stop you okay the fear of the unknown to stop you clarify the magician for lawyer for leo please spirit clarify the magician first card you have is the king of wands that would be you strong representation of your own determined energy but also the king of wands would technically represent leo of course it could represent any fire sign leo aries or sagittarius but technically that does represent you there's that sense of determination leo i really really like that for you keep clarifying the magician please spirit anything else for the magician for my leo sun moon rising in north node Okay, the Wheel of Fortune almost came out, but it didn't completely. You have the Six of Cups here and the Emperor in reverse. That's interesting. And then you're back to the Nine of Swords and I was and I split the deck and I saw strength, which is another representation of you. Leo, this Emperor energy could be an Aries, but this Emperor energy doesn't feel like you. It feels like someone else. Some sort of controlling entity. This could be your father. This could be a patriarchal figure. This could be um, a, a boss, uh, someone who has some sort of authority. It could even be something as arbitrary as like a political figure. It doesn't necessarily, th this emperor energy is interesting. Th what I'm feeling for you, Leo, is that it doesn't necessarily have to represent someone in your life. It could be some sort of, you know, public figure or some sort of authority or some sort of belief system. It feels like someone who is in control or has control maybe over a lot of people but it doesn't feel like this emperor has any control over you anymore what i'm getting with that leo is the, really the emperor could represent a person maybe even multiple people but the emperor in reverse is kind of representing how do i put this into words it's um not necessarily it's oh gosh it's uh some sort of authority. It could represent an into institution. Some sort of authority, authoritative belief, circumstance, whatever. But what I'm getting for this, Leo, in terms of the manifestation process you are in, you have the, the King of Wands, the Six of Cups, in re oh, the Six of Cups and the Emperor is reversed. Whatever this controlling entity is represented by the Emperor, it no longer has an effect on you. 
or you're no longer believing in them, you're no longer believing in it, you're no longer allowing this individual or these individuals or this institution to hold any sort of control or power over you. That is in the past and you are looking forward in your life and manifesting something brand new and beautiful. You do have the Nine of Swords here as the overall energy for this Leo, but I feel like the Nine of Swords represents the fear that this person or whatever the emperor represents put you under. That's, that's, I'm, I just heard those are times from the past. That's over. That's done with. It's no longer how you're vibing. That's no longer who you're rolling with. That's no longer how you vibe or how you roll or what that's no longer your thing. You're not, you're choosing not to believe in that any longer because it literally was just fear mongering. All right. Excellent, Leo. Let's get your closing message here. Closing message for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, please, Spirit, for this reading. Damn, look at that. King of Swords. Beautiful. Objective thinking. Thinking for yourself. Working to see things as they truly are and then coming to your own decisions and or conclusions. Okay? With that, you have the Lovers in Reverse and the Two of Pentacles. All right, but then you have the Ace of Swords. So this is representing whatever this belief system, the Hierophant here, or whomever this uh, restricting or controlling or dominant energy is or was, the Emperor in reverse. I really do feel like, excuse me again. I really do feel like, Leo, that at one time in your life, these institutions or this controlling individual had enough power over you to effectively allow you to feel like you don't have the right to choose. The lovers in reverse. The lovers represents a choice. And ultimately it represents a choice of your highest good. But that is always subjective to the individual in question. But I feel like it was this Hierophant uh, Emperor energy here, this controlling entity that put forth certain beliefs, certain narratives, or certain controlling effects or efforts that effectively took your right to, to choose away or at least your belief in the right for you to choose individually as an individual as a sovereign being took your right to choose away but the closing message here for you is getting into this king of swords energy to look at and to compare and contrast the two of pentacles weighing the options that's bringing into alignment into question your right to choose is the reality of your right to choose. And with the Ace of Swords in, as your overall energy, I feel like you understand, you have the truth now. You understand either why these, why these person or these people were trying to control you in this way, or you're recognizing the level of control that this truly is. Definitely devil type of energy here, okay? You're seeing it for what it is, and you are gaining regaining, I want to say, the truth in terms of your ability to choose which direction is right for you. And that is effectively what has closed out this cycle for you, what is releasing you from this Eight of Swords energy and is allowing you to manifest, and the magician, more of a better representation of what ultimately would be your Ten of Cups or ultimate emotional wish fulfillment. And that is beautiful. So there you have it, Leo. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really truly I'm sending you so much love. If you would like to get a personal for that, the information in the description box below, shoot me an email and I will get you all hooked up. Also, leave me a comment, smash that like button and subscribe for more content, yeah? But with that said, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.